Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajamandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. My email is 3klpm at gmail.com. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very very important topic, the clinical anatomy of the 10th nerve, that is the vagus nerve. Cranial nerves part 64, vagus nerve, the 10th nerve, part 1. The clinical anatomy of the 10th nerve. So, the 10th nerve, vagus nerve, the clinical anatomy, but what is the meaning of vagus? The vagus nerve. Vagus means wandering because of its wide distribution. Vagus nerve is the longest and most widely distributed cranial nerve. So here you can see the distribution of the 10th nerve, the longest uh, nerve, that is the 10th cranial nerve, vagus nerve. It conveys exteroceptive general sensory afferent sensation from the pharynx, larynx, ears and meninges. 10th nerve also conveys general visceral afferent sensations from the larynx, viscera of the thorax and abdomen and the receptors in the iota. It carries skeletomotor axons from the nucleus ambiguous to the pharynx and larynx. It carries parasympathetic axons from the dorsomotor nucleus of the 10th nerve to the smooth muscles and glands of the pharynx and larynx and to the thoracic and abdominal viscera. The motor function. The vagus nerve with the contribution from the bulbar portion of the 11th nerve supplies all striated muscles of the soft palate, pharynx and larynx except for the stylopharynges which is supplied by the 9th nerve and the tensor veli palatini which is supplied by the 5th cranial nerve. The recurrent laryngeal nerves are the branches of the vagus nerve. On the right, the recurrent laryngeal arches around the subclavian artery and on the left around the aortic arch. Now let's talk about the parasympathetic portion. The neurons in the nucleus ambiguous innervate the heart and those in the dorsomotor nucleus of the vagus nerve supply the other vagally innervated viscera. The vagus nerve is the longest parasympathetic nerve in the body and mediates many important functions bradycardia, hypotension, bronchoconstriction, bronchorrhea, increased peristalsis, increased gastric secretion and inhibition of the adrenal function. Now let's talk about the sensory portion of the 10th nerve. The superior ganglion conveys somatic sensation and the inferior ganglion relays general visceral sensation and taste. Collaterals to the reticular formation the dorsomotor nucleus of the vagus and other cranial nerve nuclei mediate important visceral reflexes and are involved in the regulation of cardiovascular, respiration and gastrointestinal function. The normal functions. The normal functions mediated by 9th and 10th cranial nerve include swallowing, phonation, airway protection and modulation. The complex process of swallowing is controlled primarily by 9th nerve, 10th nerve and 12th nerves. These are all the important concepts of the clinical anatomy of the 10th nerve. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these concepts. The other important concepts of neurology I have put it in a question and answer format written by me Dr. S. Srinivas in a book called Focus Neurology. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. So if you are interested, you can purchase this book online from Amazon, uh, that is the focused neurology. I hope you have enjoyed listening to my concepts on the clinical anatomy of the 10th nerve. If you have enjoyed it, please like and share the link, but please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my webpage, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.